the scene, NFL Draft. The Miami Dolphins select Cordre Tankersley, DB Clemson. Did I mention a run on cornerbacks? It continues. It's unbelievable. I'll tell you, a lot of DBs in the first three rounds. And I look at a guy like Cordray Tankersley. I thought better two years ago this past season in coverage up and down. He was beaten more than you want to see. Gets grabby, which doesn't work in the NFL. Get away with some of that in college where they don't throw penalty flags as readily as they do in the NFL. Decent awareness, decent anticipation. He's aggressive enough to make some tackles, but he doesn't always break down properly. I was underwhelmed, Todd, this year with Cordray Tankersley. I was too. You know what he needs to do, man? He needs to play up at the line of scrimmage. So where he, he doesn't have to read patterns from off. Because when he's reading from off, he doesn't know what to look at. His right. vision gets lost. And then what winds up happening is when you're looking at too many things, you don't really see anything. Because you don't really know what you're supposed to look at. And then the last resort is to grab people and hold them. He's going to get called for a ton of PIs in the NFL if he doesn't clean that kind of thing. You know what's interesting? His best coverage came against tight ends, I thought. He did a great job when I started the tape against Virginia Tech, Bucky Hodges, Cole Hickatini for Louisville. In this division, Patriots, uh, it kind of makes some sense. They're trying to find guys that can cover different matchup pieces. Tankersley may, may fit that bill. Arizona now with the pick. To announce the Arizona Cardinal selection, please welcome from the College of William and Mary, long snapper, tight end, Mike Leach. With the 98th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Arizona Cardinals select Chad Williams, wide receiver, Grand Wing. Right. I remember talking to Phil Savage about this, yep. and he said, look, he didn't make it to the combine, but I believe this kid's going to stick in the NFL. It's a great story. What, you know, coming from Grambling, not a lot of people thought he could play. Phil Savage did. And Phil Savage brought him to the Senior Bowl, the late invite. And I thought he really stood out that week, Lewis. I remember you and I talking about it. Yes, there were some drops, but there were a lot of catches like that where he had to go up, extend, catch over his head, do a really good job with his body and, and contorting it near the, the, uh, the sideline. It's so loud here, I can't even think anymore. This is awesome. But I think with Williams, you got a lot of potential and a lot of big-time plays. I think the game, Lewis and Todd, was the arrow. Arizona game. He had 13 catches for 152 yeah. yards against a Pac-12 opponent. The Arizona Wildcats. This is a kid who does good work at the line of scrimmage. Now he can break. He can break DBs down, and he can run. And he gets downfield. He's going to create some separation. He's going to an office where they're going to air it out. They're going to ask him to run some routes down the field and play that ball in the air. It's a perfect fit for him. He's going to get trained the right way, and he's got the ultimate pro down there, Larry Fitzgerald, in order to help. Him. Well, they just pumped up the jam. That can mean only one thing. It is. Oh yeah. Yeah, let's go flap those wings, baby. It is time for the Eagles once more to make a selection. Just look at the crowd. Everybody's still there. Great overhead shots. So many people here still pumped up, waiting for the Eagles to pick number 99. Number 99. New York. Yeah. At this point in the night, there would be like eight people in there. They always no. screaming at us. And screaming at us, but they're just screaming at everybody right now. Let's listen in. For the Eagle selection, we are joined by members of the Central Bucks West high school football team. They are here to honor legendary coach Mike Pettin Sr., who passed away in February. Coach Pettin, whose son Mike Jr. has been an NFL coach, has led the led the high school team to 16 undefeated seasons in his 33 years as head coach and won four state championships. To announce the Philadelphia Eagles selection, please welcome from the University of Texas El Paso, long snapper, John Dornbach. What's up, Philly? All right. With the 99th pick in the 2017 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles, and the greatest fans in all the world. We select Rasul Douglas, defensive back from West Virginia. Welcome to the greatest football city in the country, Rasul. We'll see you soon, buddy.
things. Disappointed John didn't do a magic trick for us. <laughs> a little disappointed about that. But they may have pulled something out of the hat with this kid. That's all junior college and West Virginia. He had one interception two years ago against Kansas. Then this year he explodes on the scene nationally with eight interceptions for the Mountaineers. They get the deflected ball there. Six one and a half, about 210 pounds. Breaks on the ball well, reads the route, long arms, and pretty good ball skills, obviously. At Nassau, he had five interceptions over two years. He was Juco All-American. Wherever he's been, he's had interceptions. The ball finds Russell Douglas. Uh, yes, Philadelphia's a perfect spot for him. I wasn't sure if, gonna, if he was going to still be available at this spot because he's got has so much ability. He's at his best in heavy press mode, whether it's man or zone. You've got the length that you're looking for, almost 33-inch arms. The average is in the high 31-inch range for cornerbacks. Long arms, 6'2", 209 pounds, doesn't have elite top end speed, but he's got a lot of other traits, including great ball skills. You mentioned the Juco grind. He went to Nassau. They didn't have a dorm. He had to find an apartment, took a bus because the family didn't have a car. Sometimes he didn't have money to eat. He'd go to the dollar mat value meal at McDonald's, take half of that food, save the rest of it for later, eat half a dollar meal in the morning, 